good afternoon everyone i am ankit from india so as you can see on the slide every year more than half a billion hindus we go to temples to pray we offer nature in its purest form that is flowers to our mighty gods but hardly does anyone think what happens to these flowers afterwards sadly these sacred flowers are dumped into the water bodies like the holy river ganges every year we indians put in about 8 million tons of waste flowers flowers that are loaded with pesticides flowers that rot flowers that create a havoc in the fragile ecosystem of the water body causing irreversible damage researchers link them to contracting cholera hepatitis and severe diarrhea that are the leading causes of child mortality across india and bangladesh the monumental flower waste is destroying the biophysical stability of the river ganges affecting lives of more than 420 million people until 4 years back during my corporate career i knew nothing about all of this my czech friend kuba he was visiting my hometown kanpur i took him to the ghats of the river ganges the water turned out to be so dirty that we didn't even want to touch the water but then there were people who were even drinking the water and doing surya namaskars kuba started counting he counted around 147 people including women and small children taking a dip in it during surya namaskars and even drinking the slimy water kuba asked me if this river is so holy why is it so dirty there was in numerous reasons there's fecal sludge open drains refuse from tanneries and factories everything goes into the water and he asked me why don't you do something about this i was like friend this is india this is the river ganga the second biggest river in this world how can i do something about this no one can can do anything about it and the moment i said this a nearby temple down in a temple full of flowers in the water i was like wow i have never thought of temple flowers as a source of pollution i have seen my grandparents my parents everyone puts flowers either in the river or puts them near at the base of the temple the trees near the temples it was a eye opener for me i felt i could do something about it sadly today Ganges is the second most polluted river in the world. It affects lives of more than 420 million people. About 96% of the flowers that are dumped into the water bodies contain harmful pesticides full of lead and chromium. They have a pesticide residue of more than 100 ppm, which is 10,000 times more than the permissible limits. when i had this crazy idea after this i spent the next 6 months studying the life cycle of flower waste its life cycle and key stakeholders i started collecting samples from temples experimenting and building use cases i left my job and invested the 72000 rupees or about 800 dollars i had in savings and went to every business plan competition possible in the country to raise capital to raise support build connections and refine my idea a year later fool.co was born fool means a flower in hindi we launched the world's first charcoal free incense sticks in the market today we collect around 13 tons of flowers from five different cities in uttar pradesh bihar and uttarakhand we even collect flowers from the birth place of lord rama the holy city of varanasi and the place where lord buddha got enlightenment under the bodhi tree all of these flowers are collected and converted into incense today we 
so uh, we also have got the world's highest certifications which is approved by ecocert home fragrances cosmos and every step we do is fair trade we sell a pack in india every single minute let me quickly walk you through what happens every single day at food firstly our vehicles go to temples where all these flowers are collected then these flowers are brought to our facility where firstly all the uh, all the paper plastic thread that might be there in these flower piles are segregated and these flowers are segregated dependent upon the species roses are separated separated marigolds are separated and uh, jasmines are separated then these flowers are sprayed with our bio organic bioculum to offset any organophosphate or any pesticide red residues that might be there then these flowers are uh, the petals are broken by hand and then cleaned finally these petals are sun dried so that we can save on energy then depending upon the carotenoid level and the species of the these flowers these flowers are either converted into incense all the waste part which cannot be converted into anything is converted into compost and the remaining part is converted to leather which i will tell you uh, in the further slides now each time i look at this slide my stomach churns i am sorry uh, for this side but this is reality if you look at the leather industry for a minute the leather industry is deeply coupled with the livestock industry together these two industries consume around 27% of earth's fresh water supply 30% of earth's green land mass and in return they give the highest methane emissions on earth with the flower problem we have also tried to solve this i am happy to share that we have discovered a way to convert floral waste into a uh, material that behaves exactly like leather so this is a a leather sheet made from flower waste this is a snake print this is a normal cow print these materials behave exactly like leather these are these have very high strength these are water wicking and like normal leather if these are absolutely zero plastic for example if your car cover seat is made from leather right and if you sit on it you will have sweat on your back the same uh, we are we have been able to convert all those issues and ensure that leather it behaves exactly like leather this can be fine tuned for its tensile strength elasticity any kind of 3d feature that you want any color any finish this currently we are working with three global brands and supplying the material to them where these uh, where leather is being converted into bags belts and shoes now even our process is very rapid and eco friendly for example it takes around 3 years for a cow to grow and then it is slaughtered to get the size of the hide we do the same thing in our lab in 3 weeks we are currently working on systems so that this process can be even done faster now this is the same ghat that i had taken my friend kuba 5 uh, years back we ensure that not a single flower goes into the water today now i want to share something else with you what we have also been able to do is we been able to convert these flowers into a material into a packaging material that can replace styrofoam let me tell you about this styrofoam is the world's fifth biggest pollutant as of now mankind does not know a way to recycle thermocol or styrofoam as we call it the even the production of thermocol or styrofoam is carcinogenous it is made from petroleum hydrocarbons and it cannot be recycled we have to either burn it or put it into the ground where it stays for at least a thousand years uh, with our solution we are calling it flora foam so this is again a packaging material made from flower waste you can have any kind of shape any kind of size i will also break it for you so that you can see 
you can see the flower waste over here you can have any kind of shape that you want now let me tell you the advantages of this material one second can you see my screen One of the biggest issues with styrofoam or thermocol is that it burns very quickly and causes enormous fire because it is made from hydrocarbons. With flora foam, because of the natural silica present in the flowers, our material does not burn like normal styrofoam. Now you might have a question: Does this? What is the weight? Styrofoam is a very light weight material. Let me quickly show you. so as you could see these uh, mat uh, biomaterial research uh, of materials like flora foam and flower can revolutionize the whole after use of flowers we all florists farmers everyone grows flowers but once they have been used what happens to their after life we can actually create a billion dollar industry from this which is not only sustainable is financially viable and also can help the planet now the closest to my heart of the choice of work that i do so about every year there are about 1.3 million manual scavengers in india manual scavengers are people who jump neck deep into clogged sewers and scrape human feces from dry toilets then keep it up on their heads to finally walk kilometers to dispose the excreta off at full we wanted to ensure that it is not only about planet but people first i am happy to share that today we employ around 273 women from this community who and convert them into incense on a daily basis this not only this radical idea not only helps them lead a life of dignity and this uh, dignity and respect but a disease free life of having financial freedom of having the freedom 
to be making their own financial decisions. I will quickly tell you about Prema. So when, when we started, this is an old picture. It was just six months. And one day Prema started distributing sweets in the factory. I asked her, uh, what happened? You already don't have money. Why are you distributing sweets? She said that uh, today she is very happy and she wants to distribute sweets. I asked her what happened. She said, today I bought a refrigerator. I asked, I told, said, you've already bought a refrigerator, which is so costly. Why do you want to spend more money by distributing sweets? She said that when she was 19 years old, the place where she cleaned the toilets, she wanted to have cold water. The owners of that facility, uh, of that house, didn't they give her cold water because they didn't want her to touch their utensils. After working with Fool for about six months, she was not only able to buy the ref save enough money to buy the refrigerator, but her so-called upper class neighbors who earlier despised her, their children came and had water from her refrigerator. She said that now my children are equal to their children. I can, I can die peacefully. So my work is not just about cleaning the waste on the lands, but it is also about cleaning what our earlier generations have done and cleaning myself. It was simple uh, thing like flowers, the afterlife can have, bring so much of change uh, in the country today. Today, we are exporting the full incense to US. We have become the highest online selling incense in the country. I will also tell you about one innovative packaging that we made from flowers. Today, we are a team of more than 500 people working on this project in six different cities in India. And we are also planning to expand to Southeast Asia now. I just wanted to share with this global forum of flower uh, florists, people who really deeply care about flowers. It's high time that we think of the afterlife of the flowers. Flowers 
can spread the fragrance even after the flowers are have dried up with fool and other biomaterials we are trying to bring a floral revolution which can spread its fragrance across the globe there are many more uses of flowers that can actually position the whole industry into a very forward thinking manner for example inks we uh, during the holy festival we make inks and colored dyes from flowers which absolutely sell like a hot cake in india during the festival of holi we nins use kulal or natural uh, like uh, colors because of the uh, commercialization what has happened and industrialization we have lost our natural ways now all the colors that are available in the market are made from asbestos and are made from chemicals we are trying to again bring a change in that industry as well we are using dried flower uh, flower powders and a uh, powdered leaf as colors so that people can play the holy festival in natural ways we have thought of a lot of different uh, ways of putting flowers into good use what is also happening across is that the common citizen is now at least thinking about why to put flowers in the river we also want to make this a completely circular model what we are now considering and working upon is ensuring that we train the farmers or the horticulturists to use zero or less pesticides while growing the flowers so that we can kill the problem at source i would also like to tell you about how uh, at full we have the florists and the farmers during the covid uh, situation what happened during covid was uh, during the lockdown all the farmers uh, who were growing flowers since flowers were not in the essential commodity they were not getting a single rupee from uh, and they were not about allowed to sell their flowers so what every flower uh, there were about 17 flower uh, horticulturist uh, societies in my state what uh, and because they could it they were not allowed to sell the flowers if they were either either trying to throw all the flowers throw all the greenhouses and converting them into growing uh, green vegetables which can give them money or they were feeding the flowers to their cattle we had this crazy idea we tied up with the government and what we did was we started teaching the florists and the horticulturists to dry the flowers and convert them into incense on their own farms later on we had them sell those incenses uh, made from flowers now what we are also doing for example a lot of flowers will be used in the event uh, in this global flower, flower forum event we have also started a service where we collect flowers from event like these these are then brought to our facility converted into products memorabilia souvenirs which can again be given back to the participants or the people who attended the event what this does is it makes the whole event circular uh, economy uh, and sustainable and it gives the new use or new life to flowers all of this can really bring a change in how we uh, as a world as a horticulturist look at life cycle of our flowers there also what we are doing is we are trying to develop technologies which can extend the shelf life of a flower by drying it and by inducing color uh, in its petals or carotenoid species level we are also working on converting these flowers into natural pharmaceuticals like from farm uh, natural pharmacy solutions uh, which can either pure, preserve the fragrances there or convert them into biomaterials thank you we can now open up for questions thank you very much 네 고맙습니다 자 여러분 다시 한번 박수 부탁을 드리겠습니다 네 발표 수고해 주셨는데요 지금부터는 질의응답 시간을 잠시 가져보도록 하겠습니다 역시 궁금한 점이 있으시다면 손을 좀 들어주시고요 저희가 마이크 전달을 드리겠습니다 네 혹시 질문이 있으실까요 Please ask questions. I think it's very important uh, for you people, the florists, the horticulturists, to see how flowers can also spread fragrance once they are gone. 
So if you ask me questions, I'm open for collaboration, helping you if you want to do something similar, whatever questions you have, please ask. 네, 혹시 현장에서 함께 해주시는 참석자분들 가운데서 질문이 있으시다면 남겨주시고요. 오늘처럼 이렇게 함께 소통할 수 있는 기회가 참 귀한 시간입니다. 혹시 있으시다면 전해주시죠. 네, 혹시 질문이 있으실까요? 네, 좋습니다. 마이크를 좀 전달해 부탁을 드리겠습니다. So we have one question. Yes, please. 어, 강의 잘 들었습니다. 인센스 스틱이랑 가죽 외에 꽃에 생명을 주는 다른 계획을 하고 있으신 일이 있으신지 궁금합니다. 야. Yeah. 야, yeah. so uh, beyond incense sticks we are making the leather material from flowers. This material is also made from flowers. This is a uh, alternate to animal leather made from flowers. This is made from flowers. Even this packaging, the placement is made from flowers. You can see the flowers inside, the dried flowers. So, uh, what we are currently trying to do is, we are trying to tackle the leather industry. Uh, the leather industry is around $532 billion. And as of now, the world is very active in making biomaterials from different, uh, for example, fr fruit leathers, like pineapple leather, cactus leather in South America. So we are making flower leather. And uh, you can have any kind of shape, size, you can make belts, you can make wallets, bags out of this. So that is what we are currently working on. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. 네, 추가 질문이 혹시 또 있으실까요? 자, 추가로 질문이 없으시다면 여기서 좀 마무리를 하도록 하겠습니다. So now it's time to wrap up the presentation. So thank you very much for your presentation. And thank you everyone. Have a very nice event. And uh, I'm sorry I couldn't be there because of COVID. I would love to meet you in person whenever I'm in Korea next. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you in person next time. Thank you very much. 여러분 다시 한번 큰 박수 보내주시기 바랍니다. 네, 고맙습니다.